Chapter 10 Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab and Malchishua, the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and his three sons, and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valleys saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods, and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons, and brought them to Jabesh, and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh, and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. Chapter 11 Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zeruiah went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom and with all Israel, to make him king according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Jeshabim, an Hakmonite, the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pasdamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. 
And the three brake through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord, and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them and had a name among the three. Of the three he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel the brother of Joab, Elhanan the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamoth the Herorite, Helez the Pelonite, Ira the son of Ikesh the Tekoite, Ebaiza the Antothite, Sibekai the Hushathite, Ilei the Ahohite, Meharai the Netophathite, Heled the son of Baana the Netophathite, Ithai the son of Ribai of Gibeah that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah the Pirathonite, Hurai of the brooks of Gaash, Abiel the Arbathite, Asmaveth the Beharumite, Eliaba the Shealbonite, the sons of Hashem the Gizonite, Jonathan the son of Shagi the Hererite, Ahiam the son of Sekar the Hererite, Eliphal the son of Ur, Hefer the Mekirathite, Ahijah the Pelonite, Hezro the Carmelite, Neari the son of Esbai, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibhar the son of Hagirai, Zelek the Ammonite, Neharai the Berothite, the armor bearer of Joab the son of Zeruiah, Ira the Ithrite, Gerab the Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite, Zabad the son of Alei, Adina the son of Shiza the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan the son of Maacah, and Joshaphat the Mithnite, Aziah the Ashtirathite, Shema and Jehiel the sons of Hothan the Aroarite, Jediel the son of Shimri, and Joha his brother the Tizite, Eliel the Mehavite, and Jerubai, and Josaviah the sons of Elnaim, and Ithma the Moabite, Eliel and Obed, and Jasiel the Mesabeite.